Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Pathfinder School and I've been out here carving a couple of test feather sticks with this new Scandinavian style carving knife that we made the other day. I thought what we'd do today is go ahead and make a Scandinavian style neck sheath, center seam style neck sheath for this. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Stay with me and we'll get started. Alright, so I've got this Scandinavian knife that I made and just a deer leg sheath here that I've got. It's just an extra neck sheath, but it fits up pretty good. But what I really wanted was a Scandinavian style sheath for this thing. So that's what I'm going to try to make today. Now, <clears throat> after I got done with this knife, I was trying to figure out some type of patterning to do on the handle. And I was heating up some horseshoe rasps yesterday for a knife class that's coming up so I could anneal all of the rasps before we use them to make knives with. And I thought, you know, that knurling on that thing would make a great burnt pattern if I just rolled that across the knurling on that file while it was hot. So that's what I came up with. Looks kind of rustic and cool. So, But this knife's cut me twice already, so it's a little bit too sharp to be playing with too much trying to get other things done to it now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to make a sheath here. And I just remember that a European style sheath is basically a side seam or center seam type sheath where the seam comes down the back side of the knife not on the side of the knife like a normal American sheet. So what I did was I laid this thing in to find out how much thickness I needed on this piece of pig skin. And I've got a whole bunch of this pig skin. It looks really good for thin sheets like this. And then I just kind of drew a couple lines here. Actually, it was this way. To kind of simulate where the knife's going to lay. And I left a tail on the end so I could put that little wing flap on the bottom of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with a pair of scissors, then match it, cut that out, sew a side seam on here, and then I'm going to try to form it the way I want it. So stay with me. it again cut that out and then my sheath will be here and I'll turn it sideways so that the seam is on the bottom up good. Now when we sew this we're going to squash it down like this because remember we want the seam on the side so it should be like this when we're done. Okay so for this project I'm just going to use regular leather needles and these leather stitching needles for saddle stitching are blunt on the end so you got to punch them through a pretty good hole that you've already made but they're not going to cut your threading when they come back through because the saddle stitch goes through both directions so you're going to use two needles pull out the amount of thread that you need and I'm just using a waxed a brown waxed linen here type thread or waxed nylon you could use bank line for this just as easy and you'll put one needle on one side and one needle on the other side of the thread just like that. Alright, so like I said, we've got half of our thread on one side of our needle, half on the other needle. We brought it through and we're at the halfway point here. And now all we're going to do is go back and put one needle through this direction and one needle through the other direction, just like this, and pull those needles opposite each other. And that's going to give us our saddle stitch. And we just pull it tight. And we go to the next hole. 
you got good cut holes in here, you won't have a problem getting these blunt needles through on both sides. One of the things that I found out <clears throat> doing this is that if you start from the side where your hole punch went in, you'll get a wider hole, and then you can actually just chase the needle on the other side. And that's why I like to kind of put it through at the same time instead of one side then the other side, because that needle gives me a guide to be able to chase it through that hole every time. So if I start on the side I punched and come in and just push that sideways in the hole, then that second needle slides in there real easy just like that and then all I have to do is cross them up and because they're dull needles you don't have to worry about them stabbing you now in this last stitch here <clears throat> I'm going to go back up through a couple of times in the opposite direction and probably wrap it around one time here at the bottom just like this so I'll go back through this side and back to this side this and that'll cross it over here at the bottom on top just like that give me a good solid joint right there okay then we'll just go ahead and melt those back on the end just like that and now we can pull our sheath out of here let's see what kind of fit up we've actually got okay so this is where we're at we may not have to wet form this at all once we oil the sheath down we've got a little bit of a foot here at the bottom like a Scandinavian sheath we can trim that down a little bit the knife fits nice and deep in here now a lot of Scandinavian sheaths that I've seen just have a slit right here behind the stitch line and that's where the neck cord goes through very similar to a sheath like this one on this martini you can see it's got the little foot pad there this one's actually kind of sideways with a center seam but it's actually just got a hole punched in it right here for your leather cord to go through so that's what I'm going to try to do with this one I think somewhere and that will also tighten up the way that knife fits in the sheath not that it fits in there bad right now because it fits really good but that will tighten it up a little bit as well I'm actually just going to cut that in there with my knife just big enough to get a piece of cord through Okay, so there's our seam and there's our foot pad there. The knife goes all the way down the sheath and I like that because you're not going to lose it that way. I like the fact that it sits deep in the sheath like that. Now we're going to get this thing waterproofed a little bit with some fixing wax.
Okay guys, well that pretty much gets that taken care of. We got a nice pig skin, Scandinavian style sheath for our Scandinavian style carving knife. I will uh, go ahead and carve a feather stick with this thing real quick for you just to show you how good and sharp it is. But I appreciate you joining this video. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, and for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks guys.